Hafade, everybody, and welcome to Fiesta Friday. It is a special edition right now, our staycation special. And obviously, we are not in the Harmon Studios right now. We are in the beautiful confines of the Pacific Islands Club. PIC is our host in the heart of Tumon right now. I have GVB General Manager Carl Pangolin and Carl Hafade, and thanks for joining me. Hafade, Jace. All right, and a very special guest right now, being a very, very dutiful host, Ken Yagisawa, the General Manager of PIC. Ken, thank you for having us. Thank you very much. With you, the yes. surroundings here are absolutely beautiful. You guys have done so much in terms of investment and pumping money back into this to create a truly unique experience. And you guys actually had the biggest show in the region, and you guys have made it bigger. Yes. So, how and why? Yes, actually, uh, we decided to do the renovation for the uh, night entertainment starting from as a PHL, uh, Kentos. And actually, uh, that's located in Hyatt. And we also would like to enhance the PIC's attraction itself. So that the seating capacity of 450, we increase to the 650. And we just make it a bigger stage. And actually, we invested close to our $700,000. That is not a small chunk of change. So congratulations to you. How long did it take exactly? Actually, it took us around three months uh, to build this uh, facility itself to expand. Actually, uh, we are hoping everybody enjoy it talk about some of the particularities of the show and we'll get back to you for a moment but Carl speaking of investments um, as the head of GVB and you know like and you work with all of the hotels here and all the um, various companies how do you view PIC as a partner and you know as part of the cog of the Guam tourism ecosystem yeah you know we, we couldn't be more pleased with uh, you know the the confidence and the, the, the reinvestment back into an already uh, fantastic product here at PIC um, you know I'll never take my Gita hat off uh, of course before GVB I was at Gita and uh, you know, there we pitched Guam as an investment destination, and now at GVB we're re we're really trying to position Guam as a visitor destination. And so, you know, um, what this really uh, tells is that uh, investor confidence is at a high. Uh, it's at a high right now. I mean, uh, you know, not just what the the wonderful people at PIC have done here, but uh, you know, sprouting up all over Guam, you're starting to see uh, confidence in Guam, confidence in Guam's economy, and confidence in the tourism industry. Uh, you know, we've got uh, uh, brand new hotels uh, to be sprouted. Um, uh, you know, set to be open. We also have, um, you know, uh, hotels that are going to be rebranded. Um, so, you know, I mean, it, it's it's uh, things like this that we get really excited about at GBB, and we couldn't be more pleased with the uh, the job that these folks have done. And good job by you being someone who used to go cutting the checks now, actually being someone who's encouraging people to spend their checks. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, as far as the show itself and everything, for people like Carl and I, you know, who grew up on the island and, you know, came to PIC so many times, you know, for... Uh, for the water slides predominantly, but you know, for, for the food and for, you know, just for the ambiance. What can people like us expect from a place that we've known and we've grown up with? How much is it different? Yes, uh, actually, you know, uh, there, it was known for the, you know, this show of the island. However, uh, we believe that to, to compete against uh, outside, uh, I'll say, attraction uh, in their own country, we believe there are more uh, attraction, uh, I'll say, enhancement has to be made. So we decided to go with a, just a stage expansion. Not only that, but also we selected uh, our dancer, uh, much sophisticated. At the same time, we created the story of the show itself as a uh, garade, and which go around the island of the Pacific. And you will see the enhancement of the light and uh, I'll say choreograph uh, created by uh, our staff, uh, enhancement of those uh, things uh, enable them to satisfy uh, their uh, night entertainment. That's what I strongly feel. Well, how much uh, research did you do in putting this all together? Because I mean, I, I'm assuming that over that amount of time and with that amount of money, you um, did you examine like other hotels or like other types of shows and use them as a model? Yes, actually, you know, our choreographer and marketing managers went to the Las Vegas and Hawaii. Uh, they did their study. Uh, actually, it was already one years ago. It was already uh, start talking uh, as soon as we uh, I got into the uh, this property's uh, general manager. We start talking about enhancement of the night attraction itself. So they went to their Las Vegas uh, many show they researched and also they went to Hawaii cultural show and stuff and realized how sophisticated our cultural dance is and enhancement we added. That's all we needed to do. Well, you know, I, you know, I'm sure I can speak for Carl and everybody here, Ken. But you know, I mean, there's a lot of people here. I'm, I'm sure our cameras are picking up right now. It feels very comfortable. It doesn't feel crowded at all. So the expansion certainly paying dividends. So congratulations to you and your staff. Thank you very much. All right, and Carl, thanks a lot. Always good to see you, man. Okay, and tell you what, folks, we have a full show coming up 
for the next half hour. We're going to teach you about all of the food and the beverages, all of the amenities right here at PIC. So sit tight because when we come back, we are going to talk to some of the people in the actual show. So stay tuned. Staycation. Episode of Fiesta Friday continues right here on KUM when we return.